I really need to get better at Super Metroid. Ugh. Oh god. It was just fucking ready. Oh, I was the last one to ready. I'm fucking stupid. I readied and wasn't even paying attention. But we're good. We didn't start late. Scissorp. <laughs> Dude, eat me. Timer. Oh shit. Next screen transition. There you go. But also actually learn how to moonfall. I think I'd have to practice the Ridley fight, and that's pretty much it if I turn moonfall on. Ridley fight's the only fight that's really different. Alright, have fun West here. Let's go on Ace. What's up, dude? Ah. Yeah, moon falls real fast. When is the race? Literally right now. It started like a minute and a half ago. Why do I decide to come down here instead of going straight to Link to the Pass? I don't know. How much time does Moonfall save? Uh, a handful of seconds. I don't know the exact amount of time. Uh, I, so I feel like the time loss you get from it um, is relatively insignificant in the grand scheme of things with SMZ3. But the time save you get from it, if it pays off, is much more substantial. But I don't actually know. I haven't done math on it. Like, does book save me any time? Who knows? Uh, key, that's tier 3, that sucks. Key Sanity's logic is already written, it's just the functionality has to get added. Which is, a, you know, a little more difficult. You can change the Metroid sprite too. Not in the current version on the normal website, but if you go to the beta site, uh, you can... Oops, use custom sprites for both. Uh, Avenger, thanks for the 100 bits. Shit. That sucks. Do I just pray? Now oh, let's get some more bombs. Getting bombs is pretty quick. Yeah, you gotta finish the both games. There, there's there's no, like, there's not many customizations like there are in Link to the Past Rando. It's just beat both games. He dropped the bomb. We'll have nine. Oh, I guess the bomb despawned. Okay. We have eight. That's fine. Yeah, if you beat Ganon first, it dumps you back on the pyramid. If you beat uh, Mother Brain first, the escape sequence doesn't really start. But you do need to escape from Torian still. Um, and that's so that, like, if you beat a boss, the game isn't, like, incompletable anymore. That way you can't hardlock yourself by beating a boss early. Yeah, so V11 is the beta version. It's not the current website version. 
go to beta.samus.link, you can get the V11 uh, version, and then normal. Normal is the difficulty. There's normal and hard, which affect the Super Metroid logic. The tournament is going to be on normal mode. So. Well, thanks, Goomba. Goomba, next time you do a cross keys, you should uh, ping me on Discord so I can watch your stream and just ask you questions like a elementary school kid. When's the tourney? It starts up pretty soon, I think. Uh, go Splat, thanks for the nine months, dude. Appreciate it. I'm down to, to big brain, some cross keys. Time is the ladder race tonight? I guess if this one's at two, it's at eight. Dude, fuck off. All right, at least I killed him. Uh, to Saad or with the oops, sorry, 13 months, 32 months. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Supers, so there's three items and a small key left. <gasps> I legitimately don't think I've ever watched anybody do a cross keys before, so watching anyone would probably help my mindset. <laughs> There's probably like a ton of micro time saves and stuff that I don't do as well, but that stuff is less important. Wow, tier two is bombs as well. Hmm, so I want to do an 8 p.m. cross. <laughs> okay, we just have fucking bombs, I guess. All the bombs. <laughs> All right, we got missiles. Yeah, so another reason why I do the two Metroid checks first is both of those checks in in some way. One of them is just in logic, no matter what. The other one's in logic with can fly. You have speed booster, high jump boots, or space. What am I doing? I was talking about cross keys. I went into a fucking cave. <laughs> God damn it. Um, <laughs> uh, you don't need Morph Ball for either of those two checks down there. Obviously, if you have Morph Ball before you go down there, you get to do the rest of it too, most likely. But um, yeah, there's an SMZ3 tournament happening. Um, I can link the Discord if you want. I should probably just make a check, man. Where... where's my... Dude, I joined so many stupid randomizer tournaments that I have a fucking tournament folder in my Discord, and there's six Discords in there, and it makes me want to die. Yeah, Super Metro is a really fucking hard game, dude. Uh... Invite people. Copy. Oh, hold on. Edit invite link. Expire after never. Maximum number of uses. No limits. Oh, hell yeah, money. Oh, hell yeah, flute. Oh, hell yeah, money. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, missiles. <laughs> Alright, uh, no limit. Generate. Copy. Okay. Uh, I got a flute. Um,
probably also actually like find out when this tournament starts, like for real. <laughs> I think I've said soon for like two and a half weeks. One bad thing about this tournament is that their ranking, their initial rankings are based on SRL points, which I dislike a lot. But you know, it is what it is. Announcements. April 13th. All right, you got three days. <laughs> Tournament starts on... April 13th. Mm. Oh, I spelled April wrong. Is that April doesn't have a U or a K in it? <laughs> my my hands were were one one key off. April 13th, using V11 normal mode. Eh, more info. His best link. What do I want? Control V? Yeah. Ta-da! No! It already exists! Edicom SMZ3T. There we go. Eleven minutes already. We don't have much of anything. Dude, we got plenty. I have a sword, a cape, a book, a flute, and gravity suit. And a lamp. We're fucking rolling right now. And high jump boots! Alright, so that puts the book in logic. Which is good. So now, like, if that book leads to Moon Pearl, or Moon Pearl Morph Ball, I guess Moon Pearl works too. If this book leads to something good, then that's even better for me doing SM early, right? Well, so normal mode doesn't include suitless anything in logic. Um, like you might do hell runs, uh, but unless you're like in go mode and you have a ton of game to check left, you're probably not going to do suitless Mordia. You're definitely more likely to do lower Norfair without Varia than Mordia without gravity, most likely. What is that SM item? It's high jump boots. Well, <laughs> suitless Meridia is much, much slower than with a suit Meridia. Like, I'd have to have a ton of game left over and no gravity suit and be in go mode um, to do it. Because, like, even escaping Dragon's room, you need to do some special shit without gravity suit to get out. Um, or, like, if you're just good at the video game and fast, and you have enough ammo and E-tanks, you can get out of Lower Norfair without various suit. So, it's definitely... Um, ugh, there's definitely some major differences between Suitless Meridia and Suitless Norfair. Oh, the yellow coil thing? That's Gravity Suit. That allows you fast movement through water. No more ball feels bad. Alright. Early as heck desert play. <laughs> I can beat desert if I find a glove in here. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, this this was originally based on an older version of Link to the Past logic before progressive bows were a thing. Um, if Total wants to incorporate that into his logic, he can, or in his game, he can. But uh, SMC3 is Total's iteration of Link to the Past rando, and not ALTTPR's iteration added with Super Metroid. That's why there's still capacity upgrades. All right, well, we can't do anything in here. I don't really care what's boots locked because I need it. I need boots no matter what, if this is a crystal. Um, so we're just gonna go to Agina. Um, DP1 boots. Crystal pending to crystal, okay. A lot of money. I could go back into escape and do the Agonim play, <laughs> although that's pretty shitty. Uh, <sighs> okay. Uh, pendants. Three pendants in the light world, seven crystals in the dark world. <sighs> so without gloves, I could do escape, maybe. If Dark Cross is a vanilla small key, then I could get to the back of escape. Um... If it's not, then there'd be two items and a small key locked behind gloves. I have Sahashala and Eastern to do. Uh, ooh. Okay, well now we have Dark World access, so that gives Aghanim a little more weight. Big spook. Uh, yes, Brucey. Uh, there's an entrance near Link's house. Uh, the, the fortune teller near Link's house takes you to Criteria. Um, the cave that's like north of Old Man uh, that I walked by takes you to Upper Norfair. Um, uh, there's a cave in Meyer area that takes you to Lower Norfair. And there's Dark World Ice Rod Cave uh, area that takes you to Meridia. Wave beam's really nice. About CAC Fortune Teller. So all Light World Fortune Tellers used to be the same room, and so CAC Fortune Teller also took you to Super Metroid. Uh, but Total fixed that. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. <laughs> I should have maybe done escape in this situation. Uh, we did get hammer. I don't know. So like, <laughs> so it takes a long time for me to die in escape. If Dark Cross uh, wasn't a small key, it'd be pretty quick to die with that one heart I had, but. Uh, your shots go through walls. Uh, zero gro Zerg Rock Lord. I'm also just a glove away from normal Dark World access. So I might want to just do everything I can uh, before committing to Aga. It also adds damage to your shot.
Any dab, Patty Dim a dab. <sighs> Heck, been super busy with work being how things are now. I can't believe it's already been seven months. That's almost a year, right? Hell yeah. Uh, Zerlin, thank you very much for the four months of Prime. Appreciate it a lot. Thank, thank you. And Nick DeWant with the seven months. Thank, thank you. Hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, early gravity. Early gravity and early high jump make me a very happy boy. Exhausted but surviving. That's good. Got peeps. Good. My first power bomb pack. Ideally, I find one more before I find morph ball. Or morph bombs, either or. Um. Okay, so we have big team one item in here. Two more items. I'll probably flute to eight and do all the fake flipper stuff since I have moon pearl now. Um. And I have a ton of money. Um. Okay, so we got to do everything here. We don't want to leave behind an item. Missile. Cheers. I'm drinking a rum and coke. From, uh, oh god, I forgot that this room has things I have to do. Yo, Nick DeWant with a five bomb, hell yeah, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it a lot, thank you, thank you. We got, uh, let's see who we got. We got Bright Wolf's Sheep Fetus, Sides X Roses, uh, Fandel, and King Spore. Hope you guys enjoy your emotes. Uh, not Ron and Coke. Ugh. Okay, that's all the items in here, at least. That's also more money. Alright, so EP is zero. Uh, it depends on the mic. I, like, once I find Morph Ball, I can do a lot of Super Metroid. Uh, with gravity suits. So... And then Super Metroid, a lot of the stuff is also, like... Not necessarily en route, but like, it's not super out of the way. Um, so yeah, it all just depends on like what I can and can't do in both games. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, Nick. I appreciate the support a lot, dude. Uh, Andrew J. It's the 15 months, my dude. Appreciate it a lot. No tweet? Nope, I forgot. I was playing Rocket League uh, before a stream today, and I ran out of time. I already know that's an E-Tank. Why did I swim this way? Of the the moonwalk slide into the waterfall fairy. <laughs> Give me a glove, dude. That's not a glove. <sighs> All right, what do we got on Zora? See, outside of escape, this is the last thing I can do. Uh, Marks, thanks for the 20 months, dude. Appreciate it. I have a ton of money, so this really doesn't hurt me at all. Oh, 
Okay. Escape it is. <sighs> I think I have just enough magic to get through. Is it normally diet fake flips? Uh, no. That is a randomizer exclusive glitch, or exclusive patch, I suppose. The vanilla game, if you get hit while fake flippering, the game tries to put you back where it thinks you should be. Um, and then if you, so basically you like void out. It's kind of like, you know, falling into a pit where you get sent back to like, I do high jump boost, but I did, I got wave beaten there. Um, so it puts you back, but obviously it puts you back in an incorrect place because you weren't supposed to like screen transition without flippers or whatever. And if you move your D-pad after that, your game hard locks. And that's bad. <laughs> uh, even though the hard lock is complete user error, uh, they... Fuck. Okay. So. I'm gonna big brain this right now, okay? Speed booster and wave means that I can get the Crocomire. Wait, I don't have very I don't have various suit. Either way, we're gonna big brain this. I don't give a fuck. We go to Crocomire. I just got speed booster. I have enough ammo. I'm gonna get a refill here. Alright, that also means that two things Two items in escape or glove locks. Oh, fuck. Should be fine. I don't know why I thought the health fills would give me more. Uh, yeah, this is out of logic. Technically. So, like, I'm doing this assuming that me using speed to get to early Brinstar stuff would get me Varia to come here with Wave Beam and Speed. That's what I'm assuming right now. How did the team race go? Uh, we won yesterday. Um... Not necessarily due to our good play, but due to our opponent's mismarking... Uh... Swamp and Skullwoods. We still played pretty well, but that definitely helped us out. <laughs> okay. So my predictions could still be correct. Yeah, they marked Skull as a Pendant and Swamp as a Crystal when it was the other way around. We ended up winning by eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so here I need to do, without the ability to lay a power bomb, since I don't have Morph Ball, I need to get through these speed blocks. Requires a stutter three tap. Uh, in vanilla, yes, it does, other mic. It's nerfed in rando to make gravity not super, super overpowered. Um. Okay, so there's one thing still at Krokemeyer um, that I might need to double back for later. There's an E-Tank at Croc Escape, but... Uh... I actually might... I don't know if I can make it now, but I might be able to make it. <laughs> um... I just need to get to the E-Tank. That's all I need. Nice. Good shit. Oh, okay. Oh! That was spooky. We're fine. Alright, so this is all still out of logic, but, like I said, I'm kind of assuming that Various Suit is in early Brinstar, that I can access with Speed Booster. And I'm hoping to find Morph Ball here, like, quote-unquote, out of logic. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I also got to look at our Dark World map. I need two Pendants and a Crystal of Knowledge. Uh, Turtle Rock, Mire, Skull. Uh, other Mike thinks the Hundo Bits, dude. Little piece of... Oh, little piece of love. I'd rather take a sip of my drink than attack a dead rock. Confirmed. Aghanim is still in logic also. In, even if this just gives me, like, Dark World access instead of... You know, having to beat Aghanim, that's still, like, an out-of-logic plus, right? Because Morph Ball could be in the Dark World somewhere, because that all is in logic with, uh, Cape, Sword, and Lamp. Alright, I gotta do the basement, let's just beat the dungeon. Ugh, <sighs> anything on Ped? No idea. Do I have anything that I could use? Use a bomb? Not really worth it. Parapot does work in SMZ3, but you need the hookshot. to the past menu. <laughs> Got a bottle in the first chest, I think. Or downstairs. So there's one item left in here. 
Dude, I'm paranoid. My spin attack. I just didn't hold down long enough. What am I doing? There we go, I did it. Bobos. Bobos. Uh, so basically with your sword out, you, it's really hard to fall into pits if you're holding the opposite direction. So what you're supposed to do is charge your sword to do a spin attack, walk back far enough from the ledge where you would start to fall, release your sword because you won't release a spin attack while you're on the edge, and then hold down. So holding down will bring you back onto normal lands, and then the spin attack will stop your movement. So you'll stop one pixel from the edge. That's V11. Uh, version 11. Yeah, it is a little tricky. Uh, it just takes a little practice. Little practice. Oh, that's a nice link. How's it going, dude? Play a ton of Animal Crossing? Nice. I play it for like an hour a day, maybe. Some days not even, some days more. Uh, Total has more time to, to update it now, so updates should be coming kind of quickly. The logic is written for key sanity, but the functionality is not done yet. No glove. Alright, I'm doing everything in my power to avoid <laughs> Agnim. <laughs> uh. oh. oh, baby, a triple.
no idea, dear Sora. I don't know how feasible Palette Swap is in the Super Metroid at all. I don't even think just the regular SM Rando has it. I sold my turnips this week for 5.3 mil. trust myself. I'm going to save. Uh, so basically, I'm going to get these boots out of logic as well. Uh, but if I fuck it up, I hard lock myself. Or I guess soft lock myself. Alright, we're good. Uh, so that was a quick drop. I have to turn, you know, turn around, um, whenever I hit the crumble blocks, and I have to jump before uh before they actually uh come back or else I'm stuck there without morph ball. Okay, so there was nothing here, just boots. So <laughs> it's looking like agony. Those boots are in logic, so that be out of logic without morph still? Yes. 100%. Uh, so yeah, the boots are not in logic. Uh, but I could... Can Spore Spawn have it? No. Uh, you you aren't, like, forced to make a decision that would soft lock you if it doesn't have morph ball. <clears throat> um, so I can check... Where's the bottle? Bottle was in Hera, which is out of logic. So my last two checks I have, b besides Aghanim, are out of logic, which kind of sucks. Hera basement's already done. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm gonna open this door. Hera basement had the big key. We're gonna flute. I could go beat Desert. <laughs> Continue the the out of logic chain, hoping to skip Aghanim. <laughs> Who am I racing? Static Mew. There's only one thing left in Desert. You thought I was Asian Andy? Dang, I never would have guessed. Since you have a Twitch name, Fortnite Lord XO. I never would have guessed you didn't want to come watch A Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Agnim it is. I still don't actually know who Asian Andy is. We occasionally get someone coming in here.
<clears throat> yeah, Ag has been my last thing in logic for a while. <laughs> I did everything in my power to skip it. Almost everything. I could have gone back to Dependent Desert for one check. Is my refill organized? I don't know what that means. Imagine a mod saying don't post other streams in here and then posting another stream. Doesn't matter that I wouldn't have banned it. You probably should listen to what a mod says. Like Zelda? Wow. How very mature of you. Well, welcome, Mr. Fortnite Lord. We play a lot of Zelda here. Also, Super Metroid. At the same time! Zelda's dead now, though. Feels bad. Call two? I'm gonna say six. Now we got one. We have a max of seven now, guaranteed. There's two. Max of three. And we got three. 69 possible, only if you're bad. to add a brand new dungeon boss that has never been in any Zelda game, what would you like to see? <laughs> if I had an answer to that, I'd probably be a game designer. Or developer, whatever. Racing, a uh, static mute, a homie. I guess it would be more design than developing, but it doesn't matter. Either way, it's not a question that like most people would have an answer to. Eh. 
We did get this mirror out of logic, so we can do some checks here. All right, well, so there's the in logic various suits. Now I want my mirrors in logic. Now I can do all of Upper Norfair as well. Hmm, we're getting more and more options to do stuff without Morph Ball, and I don't like it. The only stuff I can do in the Dark World is what I'm doing now, and Pod. I don't have access to anything else. I have the mirror. I forgot. And no hell runs for the first time in forever. This is so nice. <laughs> Ice. Okay. Run to Croc does count as a hell run, but I have Varia now, so it doesn't matter. I did do the hell run, but it wasn't in Logic until I got Varia's suit. So finding that Varia's suit in the Dark World, which was in Logic, uh, is what got me the mirror, logically, technically. Learning SM isn't that hard. Getting good at SM takes a while. But the SMZ3 coming out actually got me a lot better at Super Metroid. I'm you know, playing it a lot more than I would otherwise. I had a I had a 53 in any percent when this came out, and now I have a 48 basically just from playing SMZ3. Good. You say that, but then mess up a jump? Yeah, okay. Oh. 
Unfortunately, we gotta go back this way. Okay. Yeah, very was a stumpy. Oh, I guess I didn't hit it. I can't get Ice Beam with that Morph Ball. I unfortunately need Morph Ball to get that one. Yeah, don't help me if I'm in a race. I'm not sure if that's in logic with that ice beam, actually. That gives me more stuff to do in the dark worlds. What? They didn't take damage from the Ripper? The hell? I'm gonna assume that it's out of logic for now, we're just gonna go to pod. It's in the beta version. Uh, it's not quite live on the official version site yet, but uh, it's been around for a little bit. Yeah, Golden Zelda is always 7 7. Just like normal. You're bad at video games? Yo, same. <sighs> it's hot in here. Ugh. Yeah, so Aga was technically required for Dark World access. Um, I think a glove or morph ball has to be in here for something that leads to that, which really isn't that much. It's like mushroom. Um, 
Okay. So that tells me that I think that hookshot has to be in logic if all of this is bow locked. Yeah, will man. Did I not get a small key over? Oh, I got one small key. Damn. Okay. Means both of these have to be small keys, actually. Oh, no, I haven't done the bridge. Wait. Yeah, that still means that has to be a small key. It's just the bridge is also a small key. Um, so there has to be at least four small keys in the front. enough of Mr. Fortnite. Excuse me. What I get for sneezing. Hookshot had to be in logic. So we're gonna save and quit when we're done with this. Uh, no, the rupees are. Oh, uh, they might be actually. The rupees might only be gone. Uh, yeah, they're probably gone. Once you visit the room, if you leave, they they disappear. His dying does con is considered leaving. So we got one more item in here. Uh, I was surprised you didn't ban him, Nate. <laughs> That's okay.
Ooh. I have a hammer. This way. I can't think of anything else that's actually in logic, so that hookshot has to be in logic, which is really interesting. That ice beam definitely wasn't in logic. There's nothing else I can do in... Uh, uh, let's do this shit first. Nothing else I can do in Super Metroid. So yeah, I think, I think that hookshot has to be in logic without ice beam. Which is very surprising to me. That that wall jump is in normal logic. Why are so many Fortnite fans like that? Because they're actual children. Are flippers in logic? Yes. It could be a glove on. Uh, no, because boots boots aren't in logic without morph ball. Which wall jump? The the red tower wall jump to get to Alpha Peebs without morph. Alpha piece is where I got my hook shot. Ow. And Ice Beam is also more flocked. And unless I mess something up somewhere along the way, which is definitely possible. Uh, since I did a rando right before this, there's nothing left in logic. my go-to snack. Uh, we usually just get, like, bulk snacks from Costco. We'll get, like, some granola bars or something similar. Uh, like fruit snacks, Reese, not Reese's, uh, Rice Krispie Treats. Just some small stuff. We do usually get, like, Cheez-Its or uh, Goldfish or something. What? That's one item. Good old pedestal check. Super unlikely that we have to do pedestal just because it's mire and turtle rock. Please, dude, what? Why, why was I not dashing? That is almost certainly nothing. Okay, well, it's not nothing, so fuck that, dude. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, yeah, we kind of need that. So, I'm going to go beat Desert once I'm done with this little Dark World stint. Dude, I can't believe, like, there's no way. <laughs> I had to have messed up somewhere. That's really fucked up. <laughs> if, uh, if freaking hero shot jump is in logic without. Like, space. Or. Ice beam. Yeah, and Red Tower. I got my hook shot from Alpha Peebs, and Ice Beam is more flocked. <laughs> I legitimately don't think there's anything left in logic except for me to do this. Need space or ice? You sure? Because <laughs> ice is 100. My I, Ice Beam is at Cathedral. Which is like guaranteed morph ball locked. I 
did... <laughs> I've done everything I can, even out of logic. Uh, probably not. Uh, Meden, Meden Math. I don't think Total likes Progressive Bow. I want to check in Deserts and Logic. No, because the boots were also more flocked. The boots were at the, the Green Brin Crumble Blocky tank. Which you hard lock or soft lock yourself if you don't quick drop. I'm very confused. Okay, well, there's a glove. That's good. So, very, uh. Everything is in logic. Potentially. Flippers are definitely in logic, which we can't do anything with without morph. Um, Agonim's in logic to get the various suit I got. Nothing else. I guess if the flippers were in logic, we might have to go into swamp without hookshot. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that might that might have to be it. Logically, go into swamp without hook for something. Booster yeah. is in logic. Yes. More often, but I'm rarely available when you stream frown. amazing? What do you mean? Oh, aesthetically? Yeah, I like the blue. I've used that blue on my stream for a long time now. Since like 2014. Quicksand Fox. Alright. I'm very interested to see what happens with this. So we're gonna go, like, straight to Ice Palace, basically. Not Ice Palace, Swamp Palace. Um, because that's the last thing in logic. If... You need space or ice to get up Red Tower. How often do I do blind without taking damage? Pretty often. Uh, they won. They won by like 20 seconds or something. It was a close race. Weighty died to blind and that was the big... 
time difference. Uh, Fake flippers is never no glitches are ever in uh, in logic unless you pick a glitched logic. This is crazy. <laughs> what a bad seed. If this is, if this is, if that hookshot ends up not being in logic anyways, which like it got me a glove, which really doesn't do that much. Yeah, wait till you, wait till you saved a bunch of time. He was like 46 seconds behind going into Turtle Rock or something. He saved how many logic options. Well, there's there's some differences depending upon what you have. Like, you can beat Desert without a glove if you have like full Super Metroid access, technically. Okay, so this seed required uh, Fighter Sword and Cape and Lamp Aghanim. To do Stumpy for Varia, to do Upper Norfair for Flippers, to come back to Link to the Past, to do Swamp Palace without a hook shot. Is what is what we're we're figuring out here. It's most like like the the difference in logic is mostly like what you would gain from having full Super Metroid access. Uh, like, you can skip Aghanim if you don't have any Dark World access, except, yeah, Upper Norfair with no more, which you can do with high jump boots. Yo, Kelsey, with the big old raid of 109 people. Welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. Welcome. How was that the stream, babe? Did I get the big key? I did. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, yeah, that was the logic. This game sucks ass. Like what the fuck? Where did she go? I realized I wanted to uh, put down my green screen. Oh. I see your message. Did you see the message. What normal logic sucks sometimes? Yep. Game sucks. Did you see my message? I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. You didn't send me one? No. Okay. Game was good though. Yeah? What did you do after you beat this mister? I beat... I beat Pete Felix first try. Nice. What a boss. Fucking gaming over here, okay. The only two bosses I died to in SMRPG are Rocco 1 and Mac. And then I put on my gamer pants and I beat up on that game. Easy game. Yeah, getting the attack scarf was a big game changer. Not many people get that in their casual playthrough, I assume. What? The attack scarf. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then I, my new record, 65. 
So you can do 100. Maybe. We did 50 of the, the 80, or 40 of the 80 something three frame window jumps. You can definitely do 100. Is that the diaper down glitch? Oh my god. Oh my god. We're bitching about you today. We were talking about how you don't practice. You don't practice uh, all the today. The speed room. Yep. I do a little practice. But, but not much. Apparently there's like votes for I don't maybe win or something. <laughs> Good. No, no one should vote for me. <laughs> I'm gonna play Zelna in the semifinals if I make it that far. Nah. Okay. What do I want to do? Uh, yeah, probably not Shadow. I think my I have a mystery tournament match on Sunday. I probably won't want to do a, a multi along with that. here. How's it going, dude? I feel like I don't see you anymore. You can't escape. seed is so bad. <laughs> Flying bomb is a missile. At least Pod and Eastern are both full cleared. <laughs> Wait, I need the small key first. <sighs> Am I deaf or did I miss your question? I missed your question for sure. Something else crazy is happening at the same time. 
if it even, you know, happens. Which, you know, who knows what's gonna happen with the world. <laughs> but the plan is yes. RNG. Stop short hopping. Uh, yes, let's go, Pens. In SMZ3, anyways, not in A Link to the Past. How did I quick light those torches? What do you mean? I just used the lamp. <laughs> and I moved... well. It's a bell's rash. Oops. Oops. know any supermetric glitches honestly no wrap around door glitch thing you need charge beam for that is a mock ball technically a glitch? I don't know, man. <laughs> None of the- I, I don't really know how to do any of the hard glitches, I should say. There's like a bunch of out-of-bounds stuff you can do. I really don't know how to do any of it. Nice. Eh. 
Why did I think that was a red door? Fuck. Uh, yes. We are fully back in logic. We need to crouch jump for that. One month to go for a full year. Having a blast with your stream. Also, Bells Rash, thanks to 11 months of prime. Appreciate it. Nice D boost. Uh, let's kill these. Is there another one? Oh, I didn't open the door. I'm stupid. This is one of my favorite strats. Oh, shit. Floating man with spear. Can we change the command? <laughs> I think 90% of people don't understand it. It's too inside jokey. Don't forget Spore Spawn. Oh my god. Probably not scrolling the screen properly. Yeah, it takes like the correct screen, like the correct screen scrolling, and then a relatively precise, uh, relatively precise super missile shot.
I guess I have speed. I only have to use one here. Oh. Help if I tap down, wouldn't it? Uh, thanks, Mitch. Uh. Shit. You wanted me to call you cakes? <laughs> thanks. Wow, spring and plasma. What a baller Billy Mays room. It's called the Billy Mays room because you get the missile. But wait, there's more. That's why. <laughs> oh my god. I have to have to use two. Yeah, we. Mm, we have enough to get out, but not enough to also check first missile. All right, well that's good. I didn't mean to spring ball jump. <laughs> God. Good. My God, game is so hard. Be <laughs> sure I'm on tilt. Even know what tilt means. <laughs> hey, Samaria. Okay, so let's see. Where am I? I definitely got powder. Sis Maria, that's good. I haven't killed any bosses yet. Probably gonna go to wreck shit first. Do you have accepting background input enabled on your emulator? Let's go, Pens. <clears throat> ah, 
Ah. Are you winning? Why not? Am I winning? Probably. I don't actually know. Dude, come on. Uh, David Lundy, thanks for the 14 months, and also Marish, thanks for the 9 months. I'm ready for another 4 round fan tool. Oh. I guess the two I. I don't even know if this is gonna be 4 round. Might be a 5 or. Come on, man. Okay, we got a four. Why not use supers? If you use supers, uh, it enrages Fantoon. So we use a super for the last hit to kill because it does double damage. If you get Fantoon with a super, it sits at the top of the room and just shoots fire for like 30 seconds. It's super slow. So it's faster to use missiles until the last hits. Is this the new blind fight? What? God. Goodness. drinking coffee. I don't have any more coffee. Okay. 
Now my rum and coke is my rum and coke is empty. <sighs> the hell is ramen coke? A good question. Oh my god, we have all the beams whenever we go back to pick up ice. This has been a fantastic seed. Other than the morph ball. Oh. Someone made a joke, is ice needed? Um, ice beam makes the Metroid rooms way faster at the end. Yes, morph ball. In a shitty place, aga required, pedestal required. Was in Swamp Palace, had to kill Aghanim for Dark World access, get Varia from Stumpy to go to Upper Norfair without Morph Ball to get Flippers, to go back to Dark Worlds into Swamp without a hookshot for Morph Ball on the big chest. Uh, sure. Red timer. Uh-oh. That means I must have saved my times from, uh, the last race I did by accident. I was about to pass where I got hookshot out of logic, technically. In normal. Uh, actually, let's do this. <clears throat> and I long. Uh, worst place for morph? I have no idea. Uh, the only stuff that you need to know how to do for Super Metroid is, um, bomb jumping, some basic wall jumps. And like knowing how to shine spark basically and you're good i didn't jump 
Yes. Unless space jump is available somewhere that I like forgot or something or haven't done yet. Uh, logically, getting up Red Tower is was or logically you need Ice Beam, which is more ball locked. Fuck. Um. Or space jump to do. Uh, the Red Tower jump. I mean, we have a ton of supers, so it doesn't really matter. I, uh, when, <laughs> when I get my, dude, my new desk, I'll probably set up my input display again. Since we're going to be doing these a lot more uh, due to the tournament. my notepad. Mm. Okay. So, I need fire rod, ice rod. Please. Manaya, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome to the pug farm. Hope you enjoy them emotes. Yeah, S the practice hacks for SM and Link to the Past both have input displays. They're both made by the same person, basically. Potentially Quake. No way to know that for a while, though. Uh, actually, let's go this way. Get my what sound? You mean like the song that plays with it? It's like <laughs> OT Shop Trap Remix by Frank something. 
don't remember his name exactly, unfortunately. It just takes some practice. It also takes a good controller, honestly. Like wall jumping. It's probably something that actually requires a decent controller to do well regularly anyways. Shut up, I'm talking with the five bomb of gift subs. This is where I got flippers, by the way. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the five bomb of gift subs, dude. Appreciate it a lot. Please. Thank you. Uh, I use a Super Nintendo controller. But, like, it's a good quality one. Everything else here is done. Do I want to just do... Not this way. This way. Let's just go this way. Yeah, that's it. USB. Yeah, this is no USB controller. I play on a Super Nintendo. Uh, I use a SNES Mini or SNES Junior, whatever you want to call it, the late model Super Nintendo, not like the 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 SNES Classic one thing that Nintendo released, like the actual SNES Mini. I need to break in a controller, or soften it to hover, not really. Nope. I thought it was gonna bonk. Yeah, it's a top loader. I mean, I think all SNESs are top loaders, so... <laughs> it doesn't really clear things up for you, most likely. believe that actually worked as I wanted it to work because I fucked up that first jump. <laughs> uh, I mean, I play on an actual Super Nintendo, so it's a lot harder for me to try other controllers because then I just need to get adapters for them. I'd rather just use a Super Nintendo controller. Thank you. 
is going all right now that we're, we've picked up the pace a little bit. Uh, it's an all dungeon seed. How do you get emulation on an actual SNES? Uh, I have a cartridge called an SD to SNES that reads SD cards. Not emulating on a SNES at all. It's actual Super Nintendo hardware that is unchanged. Uh, I have a, a SNES Mini that's modded. I have one that's modded for S-Video that I take to like GDQs and events with me, and then my home setup has a SNES Mini that's modded for RGB. And then I have an HD Retrovision component cable that plugs into an OSSC to upscale it to HDMI output. SD to dick. Sorry, the FX pack dick. My bad. Uh, okay. You got screw. The only other thing I might need, potentially, is grapple or space, logically. Rom says hi, Tyler. I say hey. Yeah, the SD to SNES is now called uh, the FX. Oh, excuse me, the FX Back Pro. I need to short. You do need to do a one tap there, so I can just run across that middle pit. Give it the butter. I do not need it. No pits. Ooh, when I shut up, I'm talking. I'm glad. Sorry I got lost in the mail, but glad it showed up. I recently had, uh, we ordered a shower curtain rod for our, uh, our second full bathroom. Because it doesn't have one. And it, that got lost in the mail a couple days ago. Yeah, getting the stream set up like I have is not cheap, for sure. Morph Bomb? Do I want that? I don't really need it. Yes, we are doing full half. <laughs> that much health. No, 
Dude, Draco, stop. Dragon. Uh, I'm gonna heal here just to be safe. Be cool and make that. Uh, uh, HDMI to my seventy five hertz BenQ monitor. have ditched the CRT life. Thank God. That's a Foots. Uh, yeah, I use an OSSC. Check your story snap? What the hell? Futon uses snap. What? Besides just to talk to us? <laughs> I don't believe it. Retro Tink is, is actually a super nice alternative. Oh fuck yeah, dude. We're speaking Andy's love language, Futon. Dude, I could eat bruschetta until I died, probably. Untested. <laughs> so we did talk about me growing basil. And then I was like, Andy, I could just make bruschetta all the time. And he just like gave me this look. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't. don't do that. I will get amazingly fat. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry tomato bruschetta. <laughs> Let me out. Yeah, OSSC is pretty expensive. Um, OSSC is also like, you know, a ton of a ton of setup for for like the quality you get. Like, it's definitely you know very high quality, but the retro tank is cheaper and way less of a hassle to set up. Like, there's so many settings in the OSSC because the OSSC does all of the video processing stuff so that the output is perfect, right? And so there's a ton of settings you got to go through. Each SNES is a little bit different. So, you know, the settings aren't, are not universally, uh, functional, at least at a high quality for every Super Nintendo. It sucks ass. Every console, like, if I want to use my, my NES, I need to change my OSSC settings. If I want to use my N64, I need to change my OSSC settings. So, uh, the Retro Tank is, like, much simpler and, like, works overall with most things. But it's just not as high of a quality as as uh as the OSSC. 
Yeah, the OCC does have profiles. That doesn't mean you, like, you do have to do the setup once, but doing the setup once is more than you have to do with the, the retro tank. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> Do I need space jump? I have like no super missiles. It's not a huge issue, but. I messed up the taps. Couldn't you short charge GT room? What do you mean? Those are crumble blocks, not power bomb blocks. You need you need space jump to get to that left item, like in general. It's the only way, unless you do a really really dumb crystal flash, which is really really dumb. You don't need space jump to like get up that high to get the left side item. You need uh, the right side item is is fine. It's the left side item that requires space jump to get. No, you're you're not understanding. <laughs> to get to the left side item, you need to go through the left side at the lower Norfair elevator. To drain the acid there and get down there at all, you need space jump for it to activate. <laughs> it is a hard requirement to get there. Getting across the crumble blocks is not the issue. Like he always gets me. You can access it from below, technically, but it's really dumb. It's always does it from the door on entrance to Shine Spark, the second one. If you don't charge it fast, if you're not moving fast enough, the pirate will hit you with his little, like, fang thing that he throws.
You dead yet? Sure, why not? Give me more health. Yeah, I think the last three times I fought Ridley, I haven't had various suit. Impossible. <sighs> what do I even still need? Fire rod and ice rod. issue at the moment. Alright, lower nor fair. Is done. Um, what else is left? Shack tool and X ray? Is that it in Super Metroid? Bow is on pedestal. That's why I need Fire Rod and Ice Rod. <laughs> Alright, see ya, uh, Ebel. Thanks for sticking around, dude. <sighs> yep, Aga required, Ped required. Uh, Morph Ball is Upper North Air to get Morph Ball. Oh, I have a ton of stuff open. Just a matter of picking the right locations to find my last couple things. I can do everything except for Turtle Rock, Pod, and Eastern. And Skullwood's boss, I guess. We just need Fire Rod and Ice Rod. I have a mushroom. I have a shovel. No. Okay. I don't have either rod. Let's see about cups. Doesn't really matter what turtle rock is. Entrance wise, I could go in and see if fire rod's in there. 
That's a little risky. It's less risky now. God, Fire Rod can be like literally fucking anywhere. Except for the skull boss and a certain depth into Turtle Rock. Uh I think the only Super Metroid stuff left. I never went back for first missile. Um, okay, so we have three things in Super Metroid left besides the boss. Um, first missile. Shack tool. X ray. Oh. <sighs> And then I have a million things to do in Link's Past. Of course, the one thing I'm picking is, like, one of the few dungeons I can't beat currently. Because, you know, I'm smart like that. It's boo this man. 100%. I always read his booth anyways. Okay, we're stuck. We, we're not stuck. We can't do anything else in here. Booth is man. And it, like that's that's the the nice thing. Like you can get kind of strung along if you get small keys, but if you don't, then it's just immediately over. So it's okay. Era is fully done. Nice. <sighs> Pond's done, Eastern's done. Uh, let's mirror and go do Ice Palace. Theoretically, could booth his main scenario logically be true? Fire on laser? Uh, you need a very specific... So basically, you need that bottom left chest that I got the bottle in to be a small key. You need chain chomps to be a small key. And you need the big che the, the normal big key chest to have the big key. Uh, to logically get access to laser bridge. It has to be a very, very specific front of Turtle Rock to get back there without fire rod. There's a grapple that puts the rest of my Super Metroid checks in logic. No problem with Ender. I sound disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to go back to Shack Tool or X-Ray. Ideally, I don't go back to Super Metroid until I'm done with Link to the Past. Ideal worlds. Is it realistic? Who knows? Big key, we have one item in here so far. I believe none of these are magic. Two items. Only one more item in here. 
Dude, Icebreaker makes ice so, so nice in Rando. It's like 10 times better. Uh, there aren't really any... <laughs> there's one use in Meyer that's similar but different. Um, let's just do this, I don't care. And then there's one... There's a different use, two, two different uses in Swamp Palace. Uh, uh, that... Do save time. They all save time, but... Um, but yeah, there aren't there aren't too many other uses for those for those kind of glitches. Icebreaker, and then the Meyer one is like dashing through a rail. Um, but the way you do Icebreaker here is only doable in Ice Palace. There's no other viable areas to do it in. I already did the swamp ones. Uh, I will most likely have to do the the. Or I not most likely have to, but I most likely will do the Meyer one. All right, so Ice Palace is done. What's the other good crystal? Skull Woods. Okay, so Fire Rod. Nothing's a Pyramid Fairy guaranteed. Um. Could be in Meyer, could be Green Pendant. Uh, catfish left. The back of Escape. Still, still no setup for Helma Rail. Well, that like actually uses major glitches. The 11, but why? Because that's what version the tournament's gonna be on. Uh, Uther Fiesta! Thank you so much for the two months of Prime. My first glove was in Thieves Town, my second glove was behind Kraid. So, both of my gloves were pretty late. <laughs> and I just... From my glove in Thieves Town, I immediately got Morph Ball afterwards and just never came back to A Link to the Past. Uh, I need to be here first. No, it's not too hard for a human. It requires uh, a YBA in the basement. And then you actually do go out of bounds. You do like an out of bounds teleport, like you do in in the All Dungeons RMG speedrun, to put yourself in the railing properly. So it would only be like viable in other modes of Rando, but it uses multiple major glitches. Okay, what do I have back here? Two items: missile. Small key missile. Okay, um... Oh, I might as well do King's Tomb now. I couldn't earlier. Wait. Am I mixing up seeds? Did I do Graveyard Ledge here already? I think I did. Did I just not do King's Tomb? Earlier? That's a pretty big fuck up. Oh yeah, I dashed by. Yep, I dashed by, and I was like, "Oh wait, I should do King or I should do Graveyard Ledge," and just completely forgot about King's Tomb. Um, okay, so let's go to Meyer. Not allowed to suggest uh, locations. No. 
This is a race. Please don't help. Whenever I ask questions, it's uh, usually just me thinking out loud so you guys hear what I'm thinking about. Instead of me just like sitting here silently thinking. <laughs> usually. Sometimes I am actually asking the chat questions, but not during races. Oh, fuck. Am I racing? Static Mute. Will I try FF7R? Um, if someone wants to buy me the game and a PS4. Sure. But I have no... I have no nostalgia or need to play FF7R. Damn, dude. It's slightly more interesting to me than FF7, just because it's a more ARPG than JRPG in the remake. And that's a big plus for me, but... Like I said, I'm not going to buy a console for it. <sighs> if it ever comes on PC, maybe, but... Yeah, it's not PS4 exclusive, it's just PS4 first. Alright, so here, we're gonna show you the, the little boot streak you can do here. Go up in the door, go back down, up one frame, and then left and dash at the same time. Easy peasy. So that's similar to the way, uh... Icebreaker works, it's just, since it's a north-south door, you don't need Samaria to do it. Dude, no items? Oh my god, the items on the boss <laughs> and at the big key chest. <laughs> uh, is that similar to the Pog clip? I don't even know what that is. Posts in pod on the stairs. I don't know what posts you're talking about. You mean like the Helma Rail clip? Did I ever finish Milkytopia? Uh, yes. I think. I don't know. I got bored after a while. It was a little too similar to Conquer for me. Other things were more interesting. that you switch up and down. No, that's completely different. I know what thing you're talking about. The thing that's like almost 99% useless. <laughs> yeah, that thing is an extended stair dash. It 
save some time, but it's actually kind of precise, and you already have Kana Samaria out, so you might as well just Samaria dash, because it's really fucking easy. <laughs> Lose a second and a half for 100% consistency every time. <laughs> no questions asked. Yeah, it's the same one as the Winter Random Room puzzle. Yeah, you smarty dash to the left and explode it. And then it hits the switch. Got any advice for Silverless Ganon fight? Uh, lots of practice. That's probably one of my most practiced boss fights. For reference. I did all of Skull was that I can do without a fire rod. Oh, fuck, man. Alright, so... I have Catfish that I definitely didn't do because I didn't have a glove. Uh, we have the Smith Chain. We are really running out of shit to do. I don't really want to go back to Super Metroid. I hope you guys like my song. singing voice? No. I'm also stuffed up at the moment because of allergies. I'd like to offer you a record deal. that I haven't done pod. There's a very good reason why I haven't done pod. Will I ever string on, sing on stream for reals? Probably not. Ever played this with crowd control? <laughs> Funny you should mention that shy Buckeye guy, but crowd control doesn't currently exist for this, but the first ever appearance of SMZ3 crowd control will be Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, here, uh, no, it'll be on Speed Gaming. Twitch.tv slash Speed Gaming. I'll be streaming it on my channel as well, but I believe all of the bits and like the crowd control features will be through Speed Gaming's channel. Fuck. Oh. Am I serious? Yes. Who's the test subject running it? Me. Me and Ivan, actually.
I do have a hard cutoff tomorrow, unfortunately, of five hours. Yep, 6 p.m. Eastern. How do I not have PTSD from the GDQ crowd control? Because <laughs> everything that happened during the GDQ crowd control, I was expecting. Is Patty commentating it? God, no. Uh, it's always bits. It's through a Twitch extension. What is crowd control? It's where you can give bits to affect my game live by doing things like killing me, or taking away my health, or giving me a potion for my bottle. You can help or hurt me. Oh my god! Uh, no idea, 48 bit. What's up, Kelsey? can't be on the Moldorm 2 chest. Why am I going this way? Hold on. I don't know what, what it is with this ledge, I swear. is fully cleared. I forgot I had screw attack. Thank God. Okay, we don't have to do Shack Tool. Let's go. What a shit seed, dude. Holy frick. 
Let me go. Technically, yes. I need to get the bow, but I know where it is. Yes. Pedestal seed, ag seed, and shitty. Having to do non morph ball things in Super Metroid to get an item to get the morph ball. Yeah, the only thing I haven't done so far is Shack Tool, aside from the stuff that wasn't possible to do yet in Super Metroid in Link to the Past. There's one item in Skull Woods left. Uh, there's one item in pod left that I'm gonna get because I have to beat it. Uh, this is a large collection seed. Oh wait, I need to go this way. I didn't do Hashala. So that's good. So sniffly. <gasps> it would have been really bad if, uh, it was that first missile, because I just ran out of power bombs to do it. Yo, thanks for purchasing some Madrinas, Mad King Midas. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Damn it. No, I have magic's not really that useful. Big key, so it's vanilla. Oh, yeah, bad cookie. Hell yeah. Wait. I guess big key was chain chomps. I was paying zero bits of attention. So now we have to do big chests, unfortunately. It's a 50-50 that it's a small key I need.
that command, don't worry about it. I'm as cracked as I am, Jack. You don't want to fuck with me, alright? That's a dumb weighty words copy pasta. <sighs> oh, baby. only major item we didn't get in Super Metroid. Or the, I guess the only two. Uh, they were skipped intentionally, so that's good. Hey! You ordered some food? Oh, what'd you order? Did you also order some for me? Nah, just got me dinner. You fucked idiot. For this seed to be fucking over, dude. I swear to God, the last like straight up, the last three weeks, two weeks have just been like <laughs> top tier garbage compared to normal. Like usually we get like you know half good seeds, half bad seeds. It has been very much on the bad half of that. Neighbor said it was good. I'm down. Is it like a little local place? A uh, Captain Crunch of the 33 months. Hey, thank you. <sighs> Is there a special requirement I need to do? You can hit the third head in the face until the middle abdomen part starts flashing. It's really weird. I need to beat Ganon and Mother Brain. Bo on Shack, and Bo's on Pedestal. I already know. That's why I beat Turtle Rock. Also why I skipped all of Laser Bridge. Because I know exactly where the bow is. It's turned into an all-dungeon- Dude, it's been an all-dungeon seed. I've known about the bow location for like an hour and a half. At least. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> yes, this was actually all dungeons. I also had to beat Aghanim 1. Feels good, man. Aren't there two bows in the world? Nope. Uh, SMZ3 does not have progressive bows, and it probably never will. I already have silvers, if you do notice on the tracker. Which, uh, in LTTPR, is not possible anymore. Beams. How did I just get that heart? I just said I don't want sword beams. I was treated like mushroom powder here. What? What do you mean? I 
I see you shut up, I'm talking. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate the support. Oh. I mean, it's treated like that in regular Link to the Past randomizer as well. That dash two or three hits total two. Good old double hit. It only takes four successfully damaging hits to kill Moth with Tempered Sword. Oh my god, it's the bow! The fact that Meyer and Turtle Rock were both required for pedestal, bow, like there really weren't that, like when I checked it, bow was probably the only possible thing that could have been on pedestal that I had left. Hell yeah, Darylin. <laughs> Just in time. on Plasma Beam makes my beam spell Quispy. <laughs> if I unclick any of them, the Y goes away. <laughs> Other than that, it means literally nothing. So... Uh, yo, Rish, thanks for converting to a tier one, my dude. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Because I have sword beams here, we're doing the normal strat. Except for this dash. So in the in the race channel earlier, I said you generated some shit because Static is the one that made this scene, and he's like LMAO, that fucking morph though. And after I beat 
Helma, I typed in, I reiterate my earlier statement. This might have been the worst seed I've ever played. That's normal mode. <laughs> and then he's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard mode seeds can be super brutal, but it's also in logic for them to be super brutal. This was like super shit logic fuck fest. Where did I get space jump? I got space jump in Turtle Rock, right? So wherever I got that grapple beam, that was logically required for X-ray. I don't think in normal mode I'd be Jing X-rays and logic. I don't think it might be, but but I honestly don't know. I'd be surprised if like you're supposed to tank damage. You'd have to you'd have to IBJ twice, and that sucks ass. So there's there's no way. So yeah. I needed to get Grapple to go get my Fire Rod to go get my Space Jump. At least we get Space Jump for Torian. Hee hee. Oh god, you know what else I forgot? I definitely forgot some other things in Super Metroid. Now that I'm thinking about it, I never went back to the high jump boots. Or the high jump boot missile. If one of those two things had been progression, I would have been absolutely fucked. He doesn't know, dude. He doesn't know. He said, I'm pretty much at the point where I have to start dipping pendant dungeons looking for a bow or fire rod. Fire Rod. Fire Rod was an X-ray. No, it's just it's just unfortunate. This is a really, really rough seed. Like <laughs> Like I don't feel like I played poorly. I made some out of logic decisions that were pretty good in the long run. And this is still gonna take me almost 320. this seed has reiterated to me is that I am the Kim Kardashian of ass at SM, says Static. <laughs> oh 
man. <laughs> oh, man. Legitimately, this might be, like, the longest normal mode I've ever done where I didn't really, like, fuck up. Like, I, I, I skipped some checks, I did add a logic stuff, but I didn't, like, forget a location that had progression. took forever to find everything. <laughs> there was no dark world access. Had to kill Aghanim. Okay, so logically, you needed to kill Aghanim. You had a hammer. Um, you go to Stumpy, get your various suits, go to Link to the Past, or go to Super Metroid, I mean, with your high jump boots, you go to Upper Norfair with Various Suit and No Morph Ball to get flippers from, like, the pre-Bubble Mountain Reserve missile, I think. Flippers were there. I had to go back to Link to the Past, go to Swamp without a hook shot to get Morph Ball from Swamp Big Chests. Then Bo was also on pedestal. Fire Rod was at X-Ray. <laughs> Most of Super Metroid was garbage. I skipped Morph Bombs. They were bots from the tank. Didn't need him at that point. I missed. Two more off. Yes. Well, once you got Morph Ball, you didn't need Ice Beam to get to the hook shot. So, Ice Beam was a Cathedral missile, which you need Morph Ball for. Um, hook shot was at Alpha Power Bombs, which isn't in logic without Ice Beam or Space Jump. I did it without it, obviously, and got it before I got Morph Ball, so I didn't have to double dip Swamp. But I also broke a mirror out of logic from Crocomire area without Morph Ball. <laughs> oh, you had to get that mirror for Swamp too. Oh my god, you needed Varia to go to Croc without Morph to get the mirror. I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> Croc without Morph to get mirror from the top left Croc area. Power bomb. <laughs> oh god, I completely forgot about that mirror. Holy shit.
1G. Okay, we're not getting a 320. If I'm good, this will be a 318. 16 supers. Should be fine. Oh my god. I skipped a bunch of ammo once I got all of my beams, pretty much. Unless it was, like, legitimately in my path. Room one is fucking impossible, dude. Ah. Too many inputs. That's a ballad. It's gonna be. birthday weekend. Nice. Happy birthday. I think it got me. Yup. I accidentally saved my time from my uh, ladder race I did before this. Uh, so it's like it has a, a final time. <laughs> uh, Mance, thanks for the three months. And so because this took longer significantly than the ladder race that I did earlier, it's red. No, back up.
Uh, no, 48 bit. You I mean, so if you finish Super Metroid first, you still need to leave from here to get back to Link to the Past. There's no other way to get to Link to the Past. So you still need to do 95% of the escape sequence to even get back to, like, doing anything else. Um, but because you can hard reset your console, like save and quit and hard resets, uh, to Super Metroid ship, it's almost never faster to beat Super Metroid first. It is in very specific situations. Sun, sun went down pretty quick. Might not be a sub 320 anymore. Uh, it should be a sub 320, actually. I think, like mid 319. I had to not fuck up, and I fucked up by getting sucked by the baby and baby skip. Begin and yes. The 319.49, by the way. I started my timer late, I forgot. Another no, I, I am. Dead. Yo, we have six nine nine six nine followers right now. It's fucking dope. It's the hundred bits, Captain Crunch. Can I get the seed number? Uh. Well, I only caught the last twenty minutes or so, but that looked like a hack of a seed. There you and, go. And, and. Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I definitely got some boomerang. And naturally Star Fox music. It used to- it used to be Donkey Kong Country 2 credits. But in one of the bigger updates he did, he ended up changing it to Star Fox. Was the beta? I mean, the beta has been available for people for a while.
Was I playing against? Static. Uh, this race sucked ass. Here, I'm gonna post you... Uh, I'll post what I typed. This is the logical... This is the logical morph ball. Uh, blandation. <laughs> Bow is on pedestal. Bow is on pedestal. Fire rod for like go mode was at X ray with a really late grapple, and space jump was locked by fire rod. Yeah, hookshot was at Alpha Peeves. God. Goodness. All right, we're going to go raid static. Did I win, though? I did. He's not done yet. <laughs> we race a lot. He's doing this fucking garbage-ass seed. Am I streaming tomorrow? Crowd control's at 6. I'll probably stream some before. I'm not sure when, though. But yeah, go check him out. I will see all you guys tomorrow. I'm big hungry. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. CC for GDQ? No. Crowd Control. We're doing SMZ3 Crowd Control Showcase. Um, it is being released tomorrow. So we're, we're doing it on Speed Gaming. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Bye.